In theoretical physics, scalar field theory can refer to a relativistically invariant classical or quantum theory of scalar fields. A scalar field is invariant under any Lorentz transformation. The only fundamental scalar quantum field that has been observed in nature is the Higgs field. However, scalar quantum fields feature in the effective field theory descriptions of many physical phenomena. An example is the Pion, which is actually a pseudoscalar, since they do not involve polarization complications. Scalar fields are often the easiest to appreciate second quantization through. For this reason, scalar field theories are often used for purposes of introduction of novel concepts and techniques. The signature of the metric employed below is plus, minus, minus, minus. Topic: Classical scalar field theory. A general reference for this section is Ramond, Pierre, the 21st of December 2001. Field theory: A modern primer, second edition. USA: Westview Press. ISBN 0-201-30450-3. Ch1. Topic: Linear, free theory. The most basic scalar field theory is the linear theory. Through the Fourier decomposition of the fields, it represents the normal modes of an infinity of coupled oscillators where the continuum limit of the oscillator index I is now denoted by X. The action for the free relativistic scalar field theory is then S equals D D minus one x d t l equals d d minus one x d t one two eta mu 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 phi mu phi minus 1 2 m 2 phi 2 equals d d minus 1 x D T one two T Phi two minus one two Delta I J I Phi J Phi minus one two M two Phi Two display style begin aligned math cal s and equals int mathroom d carrot d one x mathroom d t math cal l and equals int mathroom d carrot d one x mathroom d t left frac one two eta carrot mu new partial underscore new phi partial underscore new phi frac one two m carrot two phi carrot Two right six PT and equals int mathroom D carrot D one x mathroom D T left frac one two partial underscore T phi carrot two frac one two delta carrot I J partial underscore I phi partial underscore J phi frac one two M carrot two phi carrot two right end aligned where L display style 
mathcal L is known as a Lagrangian density, d4 minus 1x dx dy dz dx1 dx2 dx3 for the three spatial coordinates, delta ij is the Kronecker delta function, and rho equals x rho for the rho th coordinate x rho. This is an example of a quadratic action, since each of the terms is quadratic in the field, phi. The term proportional to M2 is sometimes known as a mass term, due to its subsequent interpretation, in the quantized version of this theory, in terms of particle mass. The equation of motion for this theory is obtained by extremizing the action above. It takes the following form, linear in phi, eta mu nu mu nu phi plus m2 phi equals t2 phi minus 2 phi plus m2 phi equals 0, display style eta caret mu nu partial underscore mu partial underscore nu phi plus m caret 2 phi equals partial underscore t caret 2 phi nabla caret 2 phi plus m caret 2 phi equals 0 tilde, where 2 is the Laplace operator. This is the Klein-Gordon equation, with the interpretation as a classical field equation, rather than as a quantum mechanical wave equation. <laughs> Nonlinear theory The most common generalization of the linear theory above is to add a scalar potential v phi to the Lagrangian, where typically, in addition to a mass term, v is a polynomial in phi. Such a theory is sometimes said to be interacting, because the Euler-Lagrange equation is now nonlinear, implying a self-interaction. The action for the most general such theory is S equals D D minus one x D T L equals D D minus one x D T one two eta mu nu mu phi nu phi minus v phi equals d d minus 1 x d t 1 2 t phi 2 minus 1 2 delta i j i phi j phi minus 1 2 M two Phi two minus N equals three infinity one N G N Phi N display style begin aligned mathcal S and equals int mathroom D carrot D one X mathroom D T mathcal L three P T and equals int mathroom D carrot D one X mathroom D T left frac one two eta carrot mu new partial underscore mu Phi partial underscore new Phi V Phi right 3 p t and equals int mathroom d carrot d 1 x mathroom d t left frac 1 2 partial underscore t phi carrot 2 frac 1 2 delta carrot i j partial underscore i phi partial underscore j phi frac 1 2 m carrot 2 phi carrot 2 sum underscore n equals 3 carrot inf t frac 1 n 
g underscore n phi caret n right end aligned the n factors in the expansion are introduced because they are useful in the Feynman diagram expansion of the quantum theory, as described below. The corresponding Euler Lagrange equation of motion is now a to mu nu mu nu phi plus v phi equals t two phi minus two phi plus v phi equals zero. Display style a to caret mu nu partial underscore mu partial underscore nu phi plus v phi equals partial underscore t caret two phi nabla caret two phi plus v phi equals zero. Topic: Dimensional analysis and scaling. Physical quantities in these scalar field theories may have dimensions of length, time or mass, or some combination of the three. However, in a relativistic theory, any quantity t, with dimensions of time, can be readily converted into a length, L equals court, by using the velocity of light, c. Similarly, any length L is equivalent to an inverse mass, h, m c, using Planck's constant, h. In natural units, one thinks of a time as a length, or either time or length as an inverse mass. In short, one can think of the dimensions of any physical quantity as defined in terms of just one independent dimension, rather than in terms of all three. This is most often termed the mass dimension of the quantity. Knowing the dimensions of each quantity, allows one to uniquely restore conventional dimensions from a natural unit's expression in terms of this mass dimension, by simply reinserting the requisite powers of H and C required for dimensional consistency. One conceivable objection is that this theory is classical, and therefore it is not obvious how Planck's constant should be a part of the theory at all. If desired, one could indeed recast the theory without mass dimensions at all, however, this would be at the expense of slightly obscuring the connection with the quantum scalar field. Given that one has dimensions of mass, Planck's constant is thought of here as an essentially arbitrary fixed reference quantity of action not necessarily connected to quantization, hence with dimensions appropriate to convert between mass and inverse length. Topic. Scaling dimension The classical scaling dimension, or mass dimension, delta, of phi describes the transformation of the field under a rescaling of coordinates x lambda x display style x right arrow lambda x phi lambda minus Delta Phi Display style Phi right arrow Lambda carrot delta Phi tilde The units of action are the same as the units of H, and so the action itself has zero mass dimension. This fixes the scaling dimension of the field Phi to be Delta equals D minus two Two Display style delta equals frac D two two. Topic Scale invariance. There is a specific sense in which some scalar field theories are scale invariant. While the actions above are all constructed to have zero mass dimension, not all actions are invariant under the scaling transformation. X lambda x display style x right arrow lambda x phi lambda minus delta phi display style phi right arrow lambda caret delta phi tilde the reason that not all actions are invariant is that one usually thinks of the parameters m and gn as fixed quantities which are not rescaled under the transformation above 
The condition for a scalar field theory to be scale invariant is then quite obvious, all of the parameters appearing in the action should be dimensionless quantities. In other words, a scale invariant theory is one without any fixed length scale or equivalently, mass scale in the theory. For a scalar field theory with d spacetime dimensions, the only dimensionless parameter gn satisfies n. Topic 2d d minus 2. For example, in d. 4, only G4 is classically dimensionless, and so the only classically scale invariant scalar field theory in D equals 4 is the massless Phi 4 theory. Classical scale invariance, however, normally does not imply quantum scale invariance, because of the renormalization group involved. See the discussion of the beta function below. Conformal invariance A transformation x x tilde x display style x right arrow tilde x x is said to be conformal if the transformation satisfies x mu tilde x row x new tilde x sigma eta mu new equals lambda 2 x eta row sigma Display style frac partial tilde x carrot new partial x carrot row frac partial tilde x carrot new partial x carrot sigma eta underscore new new equals lambda carrot two x eta underscore row sigma for some function lambda x. The conformal group contains as subgroups the isometries of the metric eta mu new display style eta underscore mu new the poincare group and also the scaling transformations or dilatations considered above in fact the scale invariant theories in the previous section are also conformally invariant topic phi 4 theory Massive Phi-4 theory illustrates a number of interesting phenomena in scalar field theory. The Lagrangian density is L equals 1 2 T Phi 2 minus 1 2 delta I J I Phi J Phi minus one two M two Phi two minus G four Phi four Display style mathcal L equals frac one two partial underscore T phi carrot two frac one two delta carrot I J partial underscore I phi partial underscore J phi frac one two M carrot two phi carrot two frac G four phi carrot four Topic Spontaneous symmetry breaking This Lagrangian has a symmetry under the transformation phi minus phi. 
This is an example of an internal symmetry, in contrast to a space-time symmetry. If M2 is positive, the potential V phi equals 1 2 M 2 phi 2 plus G 4 phi 4 Display style v phi equals frac one two m carrot two phi carrot two plus frac g four phi carrot four has a single minimum at the origin. The solution phi equals zero is clearly invariant under the symmetry. Conversely, if m two is negative, then one can readily see that the potential v phi equals 1 2 m 2 phi 2 plus g 4 phi 4 Display style V phi equals frac one two M carrot two phi carrot two plus frac G four phi carrot four has two minima. This is known as a double well potential, and the lowest energy states known as the vacua, in quantum field theoretical language in such a theory are not invariant under the symmetry of the action, in fact it maps each of the two vacua into the other. In this case, the symmetry is said to be spontaneously broken. Topic: <inaudible> Kink solutions. The Phi-4 theory with a negative m2 also has a kink solution, which is a canonical example of a soliton. Such a solution is of the form Phi x T equals plus or minus M two G four than M X minus X zero two Display style phi vec x t equals pm frac m two sqrt frac g four than left frac m x x underscore zero sqrt two right, where x is one of the spatial variables, phi is taken to be independent of t and the remaining spatial variables. The solution interpolates between the two different vacua of the double well potential. It is not possible to deform the kink into a constant solution without passing through a solution of infinite energy, and for this reason the kink is said to be stable. For d greater than 2, i.e., theories with more than one spatial dimension, this solution is called a domain wall. Another well-known example of a scalar field theory with kink solutions is the sine-Gordon theory. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Complex scalar field theory. In a complex scalar field theory, the scalar field takes values in the complex numbers rather than the real numbers. The action considered normally takes the form S equals D D minus one X D T L equals D D minus one X D T eta mu nu mu phi nu phi minus v phi two 
Display style mathcal s equals int mathroom d caret d one x mathroom d t mathcal l equals int mathroom d caret d one x mathroom d t left eta caret mu new partial underscore mu phi caret asterisk partial underscore new phi v phi caret two right this has a U one equivalently O two symmetry, whose action on the space of fields rotates Phi E I alpha Phi Display style Phi right arrow E carrot I alpha Phi for some real phase angle alpha. As for the real scalar field, spontaneous symmetry breaking is found if M2 is negative. This gives rise to Goldstone's Mexican hat potential which is a rotation of the double well potential of a real scalar field by 2 pi radians about the V phi display style phi axis. The symmetry breaking takes place in one higher dimension, i.e. the choice of vacuum breaks a continuous U symmetry instead of a discrete one. The two components of the scalar field are reconfigured as a massive mode and a massless Goldstone boson. <laughs> Oxygen mononitride theory One can express the complex scalar field theory in terms of two real fields, phi 1. Topic: Re phi and phi 2. Im phi, which transform in the vector representation of the U1 equals O2 internal symmetry. Although such fields transform as a vector under the internal symmetry, they are still Lorentz scalars. This can be generalized to a theory of n scalar fields transforming in the vector representation of the oxygen mononitride symmetry. The Lagrangian for an oxygen mononitride invariant scalar field theory is typically of the form L equals 1 2 Eta mu new mu phi new phi minus v phi phi Display style mathcal L equals frac one two eta carrot mu new partial underscore mu phi C D O T partial underscore new phi V phi C D O T phi using an appropriate oxygen mononitride invariant inner product. Topic Quantum scalar field theory A general reference for this section is Ramond, Pierre, the 21st of December 2001. Field theory: A modern primer, second edition. USA: Westview Press. ISBN 0-201-30450-3, ch. 4. In quantum field theory, the fields, and all observables constructed from them, are replaced by quantum operators on a Hilbert space. This Hilbert space is built on a vacuum state, and dynamics are governed by a quantum Hamiltonian, a positive definite operator which annihilates the vacuum. A construction of a quantum scalar field theory is detailed in the canonical quantization article, which relies on canonical commutation relations among the fields. Essentially, the infinity of classical oscillators repackaged in the scalar field as its decoupled normal modes, above, are now quantized in the standard manner, so the respective quantum operator field describes an infinity of quantum harmonic oscillators acting on a respective Fock space. In brief, the basic variables are the quantum field phi and its canonical momentum pi. Both these operator-valued fields are Hermitian. 
At spatial points x, y, at equal times, their canonical commutation relations are given by phi x phi y equals pi x pi y equals zero phi x pi y equals i delta x minus y display style begin aligned left phi left vec x right phi left vec y right right equals left pi left vec x right pi left vec y right right and equals zero left phi left vec x right pi left vec y Right, right, and equals I delta left VEC x VEC y right end aligned. While the free Hamiltonian is similarly to above, H equals d three x one two pi two plus one two phi two plus m two two phi two Display style h equals in d carrot three x left one over two pi carrot two plus one over two nabla phi carrot two plus m carrot two over two phi carrot two right. A spatial Fourier transform leads to momentum space fields phi tilde k equals D three x e minus i k x phi x pi tilde k equals d three X e minus i k x pi x display style begin aligned wider tilde phi vec k and equals in d carrot three x e carrot i vec k c d o t vec x phi vec x wider tilde pi vec k and equals in d carrot three x e carrot i vec k c d o t vec x Pi VEC X end aligned which resolve to annihilation and creation operators A K equals E phi tilde K plus I Pi tilde K a K equals E phi tilde K minus I pi tilde K display style begin aligned a VEC K and equals left E wider tilde phi VEC K plus I wider tilde pi VEC K right a carrot dag Ger VEC K and equals left E wider tilde phi VEC K I wider tilde pi VEC K right end aligned where E equals K two plus M two display style E equals SQRT K carrot two plus M carrot two. These operators satisfy the commutation relations A K one A K two equals a K one a K two equals zero A K one a K two equals two pi three two E delta K one minus K two Display style begin aligned left a VEC K underscore one a VEC K underscore two right equals left a carrot dagger VEC K underscore one a carrot dagger VEC K underscore two right and equals zero left a VEC K underscore one a carrot dagger VEC K underscore two right and equals two 
two pi carrot three two E delta VEC K underscore one VEC K underscore two end aligned the state zero display style zero wrangle annihilated by all of the operators a is identified as the bare vacuum and a particle with momentum k is created by applying a k display style a caret dagger vec k to the vacuum Applying all possible combinations of creation operators to the vacuum constructs the relevant Hilbert space, this construction is called Fock space. The vacuum is annihilated by the Hamiltonian H equals D 3 K 2 pi 3 1 Two a k a k display style h equals int d caret three k over two pi caret three frac one two a caret dagger vec k a vec k where the zero point energy has been removed by Wick ordering. See canonical quantization. Interactions can be included by adding an interaction Hamiltonian. For a Phi 4 theory, this corresponds to adding a Wick ordered term G, Phi 4 skeptical smiley face, 4, to the Hamiltonian, and integrating over X. Scattering amplitudes may be calculated from this Hamiltonian in the interaction picture. These are constructed in perturbation theory by means of the Dyson series, which gives the time ordered products, or n particle Green's functions 0 t phi x 1 phi x n 0 Display style Langle zero Mathcal T Phi x underscore one C D O T S Phi x underscore N zero Wrangle as described in the Dyson series article. The Green's functions may also be obtained from a generating function that is constructed as a solution to the Schwinger Dyson equation. Topic Feynman path integral The Feynman diagram expansion may be obtained also from the Feynman path integral formulation. The time-ordered vacuum expectation values of polynomials in Phi, known as the n-particle Green's functions, are constructed by integrating over all possible fields, normalized by the vacuum expectation value with no external fields. 0 t phi x 1 phi x n 0 equals d phi phi x 1 phi x n E I D four X one two mu phi mu phi minus M two two phi two Minus G four Phi four D Phi E I D four X one two Mu Phi Mu Phi Minus M two 
2 phi 2 minus g 4 phi 4 Display style Langle zero Mathcal T Phi X underscore one C D O T S Phi X underscore N zero Wrangle equals frac int Mathcal D Phi Phi X underscore one C D O T S Phi X underscore N E carrot I int D carrot four X left one over two partial carrot mu Phi partial underscore mu Phi M carrot two over two phi carrot two G over four phi carrot four right int mathcal D phi e carrot I int D carrot four x left one over two partial carrot mu phi partial underscore mu phi M carrot two over two phi carrot two G over four phi carrot four right all of these Green's functions may be obtained by expanding the exponential in J x phi x in the generating function Z J equals D phi E I D four x one two mu phi mu phi minus m 2 2 phi 2 minus g 4 phi 4 plus j phi equals Z zero N equals zero infinity I N N J X one J X N zero T Phi X one Phi X N zero Display style Z J equals int Mathcal D Phi carrot I int D carrot four X left one over two partial carrot mu Phi partial underscore mu Phi M carrot two over two Phi carrot two G over four Phi carrot four plus J Phi right equals Z zero sum underscore N equals zero carrot inf T frac I carrot N N J X underscore one C D O T S J X underscore N Langle zero Mathcal T Phi X underscore one C D O T S Phi X underscore N zero Wrangle A wick rotation may be applied to make time imaginary. Changing the signature to plus 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 then turns the Feynman integral into a statistical mechanics partition function in Euclidean space. Z J equals D phi E minus D four x one two Phi two plus M two two Phi two plus G four Phi four plus J Phi 
display style z j equals int mathcal d phi e caret int d caret four x left one over two nabla phi caret two plus m caret two over two phi caret two plus g over four phi caret four plus j phi right Normally, this is applied to the scattering of particles with fixed momenta, in which case, a Fourier transform is useful, giving instead z tilde j tilde equals d phi tilde e minus d 4 P one two P two plus M two Phi tilde two plus Lambda four Phi tilde four minus J tilde phi tilde display style wider tilde z wider tilde j equals int mathcal d wider tilde phi e caret int d caret four p left one over two left p caret two plus m caret two right wider tilde phi caret two plus lambda over four wider tilde phi caret four wider tilde j wider tilde phi right the standard trick to evaluate this functional integral is to write it as a product of exponential factors, schematically z tilde j tilde d phi tilde p e minus 1 2 p Two plus M two Phi tilde two E minus G four Phi tilde four E J tilde Phi tilde display style wider tilde z wider tilde j sim int mathcal d wider tilde phi prod underscore p left e caret one over two left p caret two plus m caret two right wider tilde phi caret two e caret g over four wider tilde phi caret four e caret wider tilde j wider tilde phi right the second two exponential factors can be expanded as power series, and the combinatorics of this expansion can be represented graphically through Feynman diagrams. The integral with λ equals zero can be treated as a product of infinitely many elementary Gaussian integrals, the result may be expressed as a sum of Feynman diagrams, calculated using the following Feynman rules. Each field tilde phi p in the endpoint Euclidean Green's function is represented by an external line half edge in the graph, and associated with momentum p. Each vertex is represented by a factor minus g. At a given order g k, all diagrams with n external lines and k vertices are constructed such that the momenta flowing into each vertex is zero. Each internal line is represented by a propagator 1, q2 plus m2, where q is the momentum flowing through that line. Any unconstrained momenta are integrated over all values. The result is divided by a symmetry factor, which is the number of ways the lines and vertices of the graph can be rearranged without changing its connectivity. Do not include graphs containing vacuum bubbles. 
Connected subgraphs with no external lines, the last rule takes into account the effect of dividing by tilde z 0. The Minkowski space Feynman rules are similar, except that each vertex is represented by minus ig, while each internal line is represented by a propagator i, q2 minus m2 plus i epsilon, where the epsilon term represents the small wick rotation needed to make the Minkowski space Gaussian integral converge. Renormalization. The integrals over unconstrained momenta, called loop integrals, in the Feynman graphs typically diverge. This is normally handled by renormalization, which is a procedure of adding divergent counterterms to the Lagrangian in such a way that the diagrams constructed from the original Lagrangian and counterterms is finite. A renormalization scale must be introduced in the process, and the coupling constant and mass become dependent upon it. The dependence of a coupling constant g on the scale λ is encoded by a beta function, beta g, defined by beta g equals λ g λ Display style beta g equals lambda frac partial g partial lambda tilde. This dependence on the energy scale is known as the running of the coupling parameter. And theory of this systematic scale dependence in quantum field theory is described by the renormalization group. Beta functions are usually computed in an approximation scheme, most commonly perturbation theory, where one assumes that the coupling constant is small. One can then make an expansion in powers of the coupling parameters and truncate the higher order terms also known as higher loop contributions, due to the number of loops in the corresponding Feynman graphs. The beta function at one loop, the first perturbative contribution for the phi four theory is beta g equals three sixteen pi two g two plus o g three Display style beta g equals frac three sixteen pi carrot two g carrot two plus o left g carrot three right tilde. The fact that the sign in front of the lowest order term is positive suggests that the coupling constant increases with energy. If this behavior persisted at large couplings, this would indicate the presence of a Landau pole at finite energy, arising from quantum triviality. However, the question can only be answered non-perturbatively, since it involves strong coupling. A quantum field theory is said to be trivial when the renormalized coupling, computed through its beta function, goes to zero when the ultraviolet cutoff is removed. Consequently, the propagator becomes that of a free particle and the field is no longer interacting. For a phi-4 interaction, Michael Eisenman proved that the theory is indeed trivial, for space-time dimension d5. For d equals 4, the triviality has yet to be proven rigorously, but lattice computations have provided strong evidence for this. This fact is important as quantum triviality can be used to bound or even predict parameters such as the Higgs boson mass. This can also lead to a predictable Higgs mass in asymptotic safety scenarios. Equals. <laughs> Topic. See also. Equals. Renormalization Quantum triviality Landau pole Scale invariance Hashtag CFT description Scalar electrodynamics Notes <laughs> <laughs>